The term space weather may make you think of images, images of intergalactic tornadoes or comet-filled blizzards, but that is not exactly correct. And that's why we have Caitlin here this morning to tell us what you learned from the experts. This is interesting, too. Yeah, some really interesting stuff. You may think space weather is actually like our weather here on Earth, but it's really very different. Take a look. The term space weather actually refers to electromagnetically charged particles and radiation from the sun. And after a few quiet years, our sun is once again ramping up its activity. Scientists say the sun runs on an 11-year cycle. El Sayad Talad, Director of Projects Planning and Analysis at NOAA, works closely with NASA to monitor the sun's activity. Something inside the sun the, the, is, is twisting the magnetic field uh, uh, every 11 years. And when that magnetic field gets twisted and twisted further, it basically erupts in little in little areas, and that's what that's what these sunspots are. The twisting of the of the magnetic field, and these can erupt into explosive outbursts of energy. It sounds a little intense and a little scary to say an explosive event, but that doesn't mean we're going to have some major impact on Earth, does it? What does what does it mean to monitor these things for us here? On Earth. When we have solar flares, those are bursts of electromagnetic energy that can disrupt HF communications and radio. You have radio blackouts, and that, that's important to emergency responders, for instance, and, and airlines, uh, among others. And we're protected by a magnet, our own magnetic field inside the Earth, and that, that protects us from much many of the effects of, of the solar wind, the constant stream of particles. Uh, that come from the sun, plasma that comes from the sun. But when you have these large storms, they can induce ch changes in the magnetic field. So here on Earth as a meteorologist, I predict storms around our area, but can you guys actually predict when a sun is going to have a storm? We're monitoring uh, these active regions on the sun, and the forecasters are analyzing it using space-based data and ground-based data to, to make predictions. And, and using models, we can predict space weather from hours uh, to days to, to weeks ahead. NASA plans to launch a program called Artemis to send a new group of astronauts to the moon in the near future. And space weather will definitely play a role in their work. NASA is working with NOAA to prepare for astronauts going to, to the moon and understand the, the radiation environment they're going to encounter because the moon leaves the Earth's, uh, uh, two weeks out of the month, it leaves the Earth's protective magnetic field, uh, magnetic field, the magnetosphere, and it's exposed essentially to the solar wind. NASA needs to prepare for the conditions they might see, and we have to help, help them predict what they could see.